Hi, I'm Pastor Ellie. And I'm Pastor Kurt. And we're from Seven Seas Ministries. And we want to continue on the topic that we spoke on in the last video. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we, we talked a little bit about when God is setting things up because there's something that needs to be accomplished. Mm. Um, you know, we talked about Joseph being in prison and how while Joseph was in prison, you know, he went through some stuff, mm -hmm. but he was constantly being taught and trained. He was being trained to be a leader. Yes. Because he was thrown in prison as a, as a teenage boy, but it was many, many years. I, I don't remember the exact number of years, but I want to say it was probably around 14 or 15 years mm. he spent in prison. So he went into to prison as a teenager, but he came out as a huge leader, yes, a, a top a, level leader mm. in Egypt. And, you know, we as people, we fail to see, as I mentioned in the last video, we read two or three lines and, you know, well, so-and-so did this and then this happened, but we leave out all the stuff in between yes. because it's not spelled out yes, for it's us. Yes, not, it's not broken down to right. how many years it took or yeah. how much time it was. <laughs> and so, you know, when we, when we approach God and we ask him for something, we always expect it to be like this. You yes. know, we think, all right, God, here's my... Here's my request. Boom. I want, I want it tomorrow. <laughs> I want it today. I want right. it next week. Mm -hmm. And there will, there will be many times where we feel like we're supposed to make some drastic change and mm -hmm. start doing something mm -hmm. because we want to see this thing happen. Right. We want to see it play out, mm -hmm. but we don't want to wait for it to play out. We just want to make our request and then, yeah. and then have it. Right. But we need to understand that when we make a request or when there's a need in our life, mm. God starts to move things around. Right. He starts to put things in order, yes. set things in, in the places they need to be set in. Mm. And that takes time. And it's not because God can't make it happen faster. Right. He can. But God doesn't do things halfway. Right. When God does something... It's the absolute best that it can ever be because mm -hmm. he's God. Mm -hmm. Nobody can do things like him. Right. And, you know, we may think sometimes we have a better way. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> and that just makes me laugh because mm. we all do it. You know, we think, well, what about if we did this instead? Mm. And, and, you know, what we think and what we say, our ideas might work, mm -hmm. but they won't work the way God can work it out. Right. So as we are waiting usually impatiently, God is setting things in place and we don't get to see it up front. We don't get to see all the stuff going on in the background. Right. We just know that it's taking longer than we wanted it to mm -hmm. take. And sometimes while we're waiting, we can feel desperate. Mm. We can feel like, it can actually feel like we're being ignored, Right. you know? And that makes us feel even more desperate and more hopeless. Yeah. And see, the thing is, we've become focused on our our situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've become focused on the thing that we ask God to do. Mm -hmm. And because we live in a microwave society where everything is fast, it's it's microwave ovens right. and drive throughs and we want it now. <laughs> yeah. Everything. We it, want everything right now. It definitely works towards, you know, making us think that we have yeah. to have something. I mean, yeah. that isn't, that's no kidding. I mean. Yeah. We're so used to having everything now mm -hmm. and quick that it yeah. even works on us when it comes to, tries to work on us when it comes mm -hmm. to God. And think about how, you know, 50 years ago, maybe longer, when you wanted something and you or you needed to buy something, you saved the money. Mm. And when you had enough money to buy it, you paid for it. Right. Well, today is all about buy it now, pay later, <laughs> yeah. you know, and and. Even crazy things like buy it now, no interest for five years. Oh, yes. That's, and, and, you know, it, and that's we kind tempting, of, isn't it? Yeah, and we think about, <laughs> we kind of put God in that, that same yeah. basket and we're like, okay, God, I just want it now. Mm. You know, give it to me now and if there's something I need to do, I'll do it later. Yes. Well, that's not how God works. No. And God doesn't want us to be in that situation. I, I think like when we... When we call God in on mm -hmm. helping us, see, we mm -hmm. can do it ourselves, and uh, he don't interfere. 
we can do it ourselves. He'll, yeah. he'll let us have our, our oh, way. Oh, he'll let us, yeah. Um, but when we call God in on it and we ask him, it's a different story now. It's his. Right. And we have to wait mm -hmm. on what he wants us to do when we wanted to do it. Right. And during that waiting time, we have to keep doing what we normally do. That's the whole thing we right there. We don't jump out and say, right. well, I asked God for this. Now he's working on He's giving it to me. That's not... No, if, the way if we ask God to do something for us, we need to let God do it for us. Because when we start getting involved ourselves and doing steps, taking steps that he hasn't told us to take, then we're in trouble. Right. I think the most important thing we can do is when we make that decision mm -hmm. to call God in and say, God, I need your help. That's exactly what we're saying. God, yeah. I need your help. So at that moment, in that point, hands off mm -hmm. for us. Okay, we don't call God in and say, I need your help. Right. But I'm going to tell you how I would like it right. done. We, oh, yeah, we get to exactly. that point. We get to that point within ourselves. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, don't even bother going to God unless you're at that point where you can say, God, I need your help. And my hands are off. Mm -hmm. If we can't get to that point, don't go to him because to me, you're saying, God, I want your help, but I'm going to tell you how to do it. And right. he's not going to, he's not. He that doesn't, doesn't work fly that way. with God. No, no not <laughs> it, at all. It doesn't. And yeah. so if we can't get to that point, I guess the most important thing is to work on ourselves, to mm. get to that point where we realize, God, I need your help. Yeah. If we don't get to that point, then we're saying, God, I need your help, but I'm going to tell you how I want it done. Yeah, do it my way, God. And I want you to do it, but do it my way because I know that if you do it, it'll get done faster. And many people are discouraged today. Mm because we've done that several times. And mm -hmm. we didn't realize that when we come to God and we ask him for help, that he has to now look at what we're asking mm -hmm. for and put the pieces together. The pieces together, that's right. And those pieces, depending on what we're asking for and depending on the pieces that he has to work on putting together, mm -hmm. depends on how long it's gonna take. Yeah, that'll determine the length of time because when God sets things in order and we and we step in, that throws things off. That's right. It just it just throws yeah. a wrench into the plans, it messes things up. So now not only does he have to set things in order and put things in their places, but now he has to clean up the mess yes. that we just made yes. trying to help him. Yes. And all we do is delay we're delaying. We're, yeah, we're delaying the outcome. Yes. And, we're, and if we're not careful, we can destroy the outcome. That's right. Because even though God can fix the messes that we make, mm -hmm. there are times when we step in and we can absolutely yeah. wreak havoc right. and destroy what God is setting up. That's right. And so it's important that when we ask God for something and we have a need that we... As Pastor Ellie said, we go to God and we we give it to him mm. and we take our hands, hands off, off of it completely <laughs> yes. and we keep on doing the things that we know we're supposed to be yes. doing and don't do anything extra unless we know that God has right. told us to. Exactly. Stay. We, we can't, mm -hmm. we, sorry, I don't mean to no, interrupt, but we, we can't go and ask God to do something. Mm. That's like going to your boss at work and saying, I'm not quite sure how to handle this situation, so can you set it up for me? And then your boss starts to set it up for you, and you start telling your boss how to do it. Mm. Yeah. You know, in many situations, your boss will tell you, well, I, apparently you know better than I do, so do it yourself. Mm. Or you may get walked out the door right. for being insubordinate. Yes. So we have to be careful. And, and, you know, our biggest point today is when we take something to God and we give it to him mm. and we ask him for help, we need to let him do what he does best. That's right. Amen. Yes. So we hope that this has shed some light on some things. Mm. And I'm gonna, we're going to follow this up mm. with one more piece to this puzzle. And it's the piece that has caused all of this confusion mm. in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to talk about that a little bit more in, in a few minutes. Um, and um, 
So we hope that this has started to shed some light on mm -hmm. some things and maybe will help clear up some confusion yes. and bring some clarity. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, when we start seeing things clearly, it will help put an end to a lot of this madness that, that we yeah. see yes. going on. Yeah, discouragement in the body. Right. Because people aren't seeing and, and hearing and, and getting the answers right. that they're asking God for because they're not taking their hands off. Them. Right, right. So we want in the next video, we'll talk more mm -hmm. and, you know, we'll bring to clarity some of the things that yeah. we need to do. Yeah. You know, we need to do so that God can do. It's not that God doesn't want to. Right. God wants to answer us. Mm -hmm. so he wants to help us and he yeah. wants to be there for us. It's just we've we've not taken our hands off of it right, as exactly. much as we think we have yeah. if we're not getting our answers and it's not being done we're interfering yeah so we'll talk more about this in our next video yep. stay tuned <laughs> in the meantime enjoy the rest of your day yes and we love you guys we love you and we'll see you in the next video bye-bye take care bye-bye